I know, I know. I know you know, but let's let the children guess. Hello, guys. Baba Tunde was trying to look at the board and guess what the story today will be about. Can you guess? Animals. Farm animals. Give yourselves a hand. Yes, our story today is going to be about farm animals. Do you know any farm animals? Chicken, duck, uh -huh. goats, horses, cows, pigs. Awesome. Great job. The book I have today is a silly book. What sound do cows make? That's right. Mm. What sound do pigs make? Oink, 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 oink. The book I have today is titled The Cow That Went Oink. This is a story about the cow and the pig that lived in a farm. But the pig couldn't make the oink sound. And the cow couldn't make the moo sound. I wonder what is going to happen. Let's find out. The Cow That Went Oink, written and illustrated by Bernard Most. My friend Ariana said I could read this book. This book belongs to her. There it is. This book belongs to Ariana Ron Harris. Thank you, Ari. There once was a cow that went oi. The cows that went moo laughed at the cow that went oi. Look at them. Moo ha ha. Moo ha ha. Moo ha ha. They're laughing at the cow that went oi. And the other animals in the farm laughed at her too. Look at them all laughing. Hee haw, ha ha ha, nee ha ha ha, ba ha ha ha, meow ha ha ha, clock clock ha ha ha, gobble gobble ha ha ha, cock a doo 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 ha ha ha, quack ha ha ha, chip chip ha ha ha. Oh no, they all laughed. How do you think that made the cow feel? Yeah, it can feel sad. The cow that went oink was very sad. One day, she heard a friendly moo. It was a pig that went moo. What a surprise! Let me see your surprise face. <gasps> the pigs that went oink laughed at the pig that went moo. And the other animals laughed at her too. How do you think that made the pig feel? Sad. The pig that went moon was very sad. The, the cow that went oink had an idea. She could teach the pig to go oink. That is a good idea. So the cow that went oink made a loud oink while the pig that went moon made a loud moo. Then the pig that went moo tried to go oink. It's always good to try. The horse, the donkey, and the sheep thought it was very funny. But the pig that went moo didn't listen to them. She listened to the cow. And the cow that went moo tried again. And again, and again, until finally, she went oink. Amazing. The pig could oink. Now she could teach the cow to move. The cow that went oink tried to move. Look at that. Moink. The rooster, the turkey, and the duck laughed. <laughs> quack, quack, <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> but the cow didn't listen to them. 
she listened to the pig. Then the cow that went oink tried again and again and again until the cow that went oink finally went moo. Look at him. Moo. moo. The cow and the pig were very happy. Each of them could moo and oink. Moo, oink, moo, oink. And they were the only animals in the farm that could do both. So they had the last laugh. D and so the story was about the cow and the pig. But do you know the story was also about perseverance? That's when you keep trying and keep trying and never give up. It's also about courage. When you keep trying, even though people laugh at you, you know how you can't tie your shoe and you get all frustrated? What do you think you should do? Like the cow and the pig. We should keep trying. What did we learn from today's story about Wittendi? Um, I learned that when I can't do stuff, I should keep trying and trying. Well done, Baba Tindi. And remember, guys, though things might be difficult sometimes, we should always persevere. We should always keep trying. Till next time, never give up. Keep on trying. Oh.